We're starting our adventure today in the green pastures of North Burnaby. And you may recognize this house from my recent vlog in which Michael Buble got angry and yelled at me. This house belonged to sweet Mike's grandpa and he just had it renovated by the Property Brothers. The Property Brothers, of course, are Vancouver-born reality television personalities Jonathan and Drew Scott. The identical twin brothers are best known for their many shows, including Property Brothers, A Very Brady Renovation, and Celebrity IOU. I thought it might be fun today to see where Jonathan and Drew went to school before they were famous. And for that, we'll head 30 minutes east to Maple Ridge. Stay tuned, friends. All right, we're here at Thomas Haney Secondary School in Maple Ridge. Young Jonathan and Drew didn't belong to any particular clique here. They were like ambassadors at large. If they were interested in some activity, they went for it. They rehearsed with the drama club and loved entertaining others. Plus, they liked basketball and volleyball. They say they would have been grounded until they were 27 if their parents knew half the pranks. In grade 9, they had a big fight when Jonathan stuffed rotten food in Drew's locker. Drew hoisted his brother's entire body up like a wrestler with roid rage and then slammed it on the hood of a car. But they patched it up. The school boasted a professional editing suite and they loved making fun videos instead of writing book reports. Their drama teacher, Mrs. Evans, was buddies with Michael J. Fox and she used some connections to get the boys' auditions. They even got a sweet gig in a beer commercial. And the Scott twins graduated from Thomas Haney here without going to another high school. Well, actually while in grade 10, Jonathan moved to High River, Alberta to help his dad build his dream home. Yeah, I mean, it would be cool to check out that other school too, but it's a thousand kilometers east and driving all day just for this little vlog? Well, well that would be crazy. Let's go. While we're driving on the Colcahalla Highway, I'll let you know I really enjoyed the Scots 2017 memoir, It Takes Two, Our Story. Lots of great pictures and amusing anecdotes in the book, including their past jobs like shopping mall security guards and flight attendants. And I was interested to learn that Jonathan studied to be a magician with Vancouver's own two-time world champ, Sean Farquhar. All right, we're getting close to Alberta. Stay tuned, friends. Okay, we made it to High River, Alberta, and here we are at Senator Riley High School. Jonathan was confident things would go well for him here. Unfortunately, he says he experienced total scorched earth, take no prisoners, annihilation. On his first day, he hadn't even made it onto the sidewalk before he was hit in the side of the head with his first flying Coke can. With not as many opportunities for extracurricular activities as he had back at Thomas Haney, the lad grew bored. Fortunately, his magic skills did win him some friends, though. And Jonathan was very happy when he returned to Maple Ridge the next year to finish high school. After they graduated, the twins went to university, and for that, we'll head an hour north. The brothers took classes here at the University of Calgary. Jonathan had a full academic scholarship, majored in business with a minor in theater design. He was focused on becoming a magician. Drew was obsessed with basketball and had an athletic scholarship. He studied kinesiology with dreams of being a high school coach. The twins became very smart here, and the rest is history. Thank you for watching today. Please tap that good subscribe button one time. My thanks to Bev Sugarman for makeup and Jewel Hail Mary for wardrobe. I'm Jean-Claude Vancouver, and until next time, be good to the other. You know why it's good to hire Canadian contractors for a home renovation? They're really good at poutine maintenance. <laughs>